Yeah. Things and then change. and then uh, and then Mike uh, helped start that that little company party something or another. Poker party poker. Yeah, that company. company. Yeah. yeah, he start yeah. he helped start yeah. that company. Almost all the pros laughed at me when I was wearing the logo and everything. He's the only one that said you're on the right track. You know, the rest of them didn't have the vision to see it, but he did. How much of that? Yeah, make it ten. Here we are, Mike. Thank you. Well, you're up here in the endorsement deal now, and I'm still. <laughs> yeah, but who's made more lifetime yeah. endorsements? <laughs> yeah. One deal. Good point. Papo does bet 1250 with that second pair. Two diamonds, two hearts on board. I think party poker was. Uh, Jeff, of course, top pick and kicker way out in front. Floating at 11 billion dollars in the London market. Yeah, nine billion. It went up too the first day out. Might got to 11. It was an amazing story. Check. Jeff really one checks the, the safe-looking deuce the on the river. river. No, is Papo going to check back and take his fight to showdown? Does beat all those draws. Is he going to try and make Jeff fall? Well, he's going very small for a tiny bit of value. Just 650, of course, does get called by the better hand. Then the World Poker Tour came along and absolutely is globalized poker. That's the most amazing thing about poker. You remember we went to the World Series. Even in, in the 80s, only a few Irishmen came over to the World Series. That was it back then. Yeah. And then Surrender Sunar and Mansoor Matt Luby came from England. And some Irishmen came over and that was it back in those days. And then uh, yeah. now we see how global poker is, how great players are from every country in the world. Used to be America's game, boy, it's not anymore. You it's guys are all too Argentina's good around the world game, now. Man. Argentina and Brazil. 